which are available on Apple TV, iOS, Android, or you can go to w5kick.com. Let's get ready for the second fight. Coming up right now is Vadim Davidov, who will be fighting out of the red corner. He's only 16 years old. These are two 16-year-old fighters, young, young fighters. He's 178 centimeters, 63 kilograms from Russia. He has three total fights, two wins, one loss. Here comes Vadim Davidov. Another young, you're gonna hear a taste of another young fighter. We haven't seen much of him. So it's hard for us to tell whether or not he's a, a kicker or more of a boxer. He'll be taking on Alexander Skorat, another man making his W5 debut, professional debut. He's also 16 years old. He's 117, 176 centimeters. He's 63 kilograms. He's from Russia. He only has one total fight professionally. One win, zero losses. And here comes Alexander. He'll be fighting out of the blue corner. This should be a good, good young fight. Two young kids battling out in the center of the ring. Let's go to Oleg Nevision in the center of the ring as he gives the introductions. the height advantage here, which means he has the reach advantage as well. You can clearly see there is a bit of a difference in their size. We'll see if that plays a role. It didn't play a role in the last fight. We'll see if Vadim can keep Alexander at distance or if Alexander can get inside on him. And we'll see which corner's lucky. Blue on again or will it be the red in this fight? And we begin three rounds, three yeah. minutes per round. Nice left jab by Alexander. Nice left jab by Alexander again. Oh, a beautiful right kick to the knee by Alexander. Another right kick to the leg, leg kick by Alexander. Another right leg kick. Those will wear you down after a while. These guys get inside. They're trading knees right now at this point. Nice, nice left to the body by Alexander. Alexander's connecting right now. Vadim's not really connecting at this point. He's missing his shots. Another right leg kick by Alexander with followed by a left hook. He stunned Vadim. But he didn't go in there. Didn't set him enough to go in and try and go for the knockout. It's a beautiful left. They tie up, trade knees. Hey, 
Alexander so far looking like the more clean fighter. Mixing up his punches and his kicking. Vadim leaving himself open. Vadim with a flying knee. Oh, a beautiful right jab by Alexander. Did he stun Vadim? He did not. Vadim took that like a champ. It was a beautiful right jab. We thought he could have stunned him. He didn't see that one coming. Vadim grabbing that left leg kick, throwing the right hook. Very little damage. Alexander seems like he's in his zone. Uh, there goes uh, Vadim with another flying knee. He's trying to catch him with that knee when he's off guard. If he does connect, he'll get him right underneath the chin and probably put him on the mat. Oh, Vadim goes for the, for the leg kick to the head. But Alexander saw it coming and kicks his leg out from underneath him. No knockdown. One minute left, Alexander controlling this round. A beautiful right to the head by Alexander. Definitely controlling the tempo, controlling the fight. He's connecting on his punches. Which will bode well for his confidence going into the second round. Oh, you see Vadim goes in with the flying knee again. Alexander waiting for it, connects with the right. I will give Vadim credit, he's got a nice strong chin. chin. A left jab followed up by a right jab by Alexander, both landed. Nothing hard, just keep him at bay. Definitely a round with 20 seconds left for Alexander. Unless something surprising happens, this round should end. Alexander should win the round. We'll be going into the second round with a comfortable lead. I'm not sure how Vadim is going to change his tactics. He's missing his punches. He's missing his kicks. Alexander seems really ready for him. He's moving around great and definitely controlling the tempo. A beautiful round by Alexander. Both young kid, 16 years old. But he showed a lot of poise in the ring on that round. And definitely was his. Nice, beautiful round. I thought for a second with that right jab, he was going to stun Vadim. There you go. You see Vadim coming with that leg kick. Beautiful. Right there was the right jab. I'm surprised he wasn't stunned. He didn't see the right jab coming. Sometimes that's what's going to knock you out. But he held up on his own. He took the punch, and he stayed on his feet and didn't even look phased, which means that this could be a really hard fight for Alexander. Even though he's controlling the tempo, it could mean that Vadim may not be so easily knocked out as we go into round two. As we see the numbers, 26% landed punches by Alexander Shkorat, 35% for the leg kicks, only 10% of uh, Vadim's punches landed. It was definitely all Alexander. <laughs> round two. Let's see if Vadim changes up what he was doing from the first round. Doesn't look like it so far. Alexander comes in, throws that left, connects. Vadim just missing a kick to the face. They tie up, change their knees, exchange knees, and break it. A beautiful flying right knee. That one connected to the bottom of the chin of Alexander. That could have stunned him. Yeah, he keeps going with that flying knee, and he's going to get knocked out. I'll tell you, Alexander, he should just time it perfectly and just throw that punch, and he'll really just knock him right out. Exchanging leg kicks right now, and they tie back up. Definitely a different round, second round. That did coming out a little bit more prepared. Alexander not as on fire as he was in the first round. They're tying up a lot. Maybe he's a bit too tired. Definitely saw that anyone come. Coming in on that one, blocked it. Nice left by Alexander. Alexander really not throwing very many kicks. He's definitely going with the boxing right now. When he does throw those kicks, he's checking the leg. Exchange knees again. Vadim much prefers the, the knee and kicking over boxing. See if he can get that leg up to that head and surprise Alexander at some point in tonight's match. We have another minute left in the second round. Not any action happening in this round at all. They seem more like they're prepared for wrestling than they are for kickboxing. What a huge difference. 
Alexander looks exhausted. Nice left jab by Alexander. Tie up, Vadim throwing that knee again. 40 seconds left. Comes in with that flying knee, Vadim does. Alexander blocks it nicely, ties him up again. Alexander really not doing anything in this round, and I don't really understand why after such a, a, a blistering, fast-paced first round. I don't know if he's exhausted, but what I do know is he just turned his back. That was not good. A left leg kick to the head by Vadim, connected. Nice left leg kick to the head. Wasn't super strong, but definitely should wake Alexander up. Seems Alexander's either going for a points win and ties up, but that round was Vadim. Vadim came out to win the round. He won it. He won it well. He controlled the tempo, a complete change. It happens sometimes, we never understand why. We are now in the third and final round. I'm gonna say that this fight is tied. If they perform like they did in the second round, it will probably end up in a fourth round. Alexander sitting here in the corner next to us. He's getting a good talking to right now by his coaches. They're not happy with his performance in the second round, but they really shouldn't be. It was a really poor performance. Too much tying up, not enough fighting. They're going to lose fights that way. The final round. It was a good fight for two young fighters. Let's see if Alexander comes out a little bit more bluster. Left play kick by Vadim connected, followed by a jab to the forehead. Both of them landed on Alexander. Alexander's got to throw something. He goes for the swinging hook right there. That left hook completely missed. A different fighter in the second and third round Alexander has become Vadim. He's still playing his game, but now in the second and third round, what didn't work in the first is working here now. He keeps going with that flying knee. Loves coming in with that knee. I think he goes to that too much. If it gets timed, he's gonna get knocked out. Alexander's gonna wanna time that one. Just missed the left. I think just missed that left. And they tie up again. Alexander's just tying him up. That he wants to fight. Alexander's looking to tie up. I think Alexander is, is really exhausted at this point. Vadim just missed with a left hook to the head again. Skipper off the forehead of Alexander. He keeps turning his back. If Vadim sees it, man, you just gotta go in and knock him out. You can't turn your back to your fighter. They should stop wrestling. It's not a wrestling match, people. A left to the head. Alexander catches it. Throws a couple punches. Minute and a half left in the third round. I'm gonna call this round a tie so far. Something's gotta give, otherwise we're going to four. Nice knee to the head by Vadim, that one it did land. Not too hard, but at this point I guess you're just going for points, trying to get to this fight, winning on the scorecards. I almost want to give Vadim the fight because it seems like Alexander doesn't want to fight anymore. And I don't understand why. Nice combination by Alexander. Catches him with that left. A knee to the head by Vadim. Did he stun him? He did not. Looking for those eyes, that bewilderment in the eyes. You don't see it. With 30 seconds left, unless a miracle happens, I think we're going to end the fight and have to go to the judges. I will say though, Alexander's not throwing many kicks or punches. He is doing very well at defending against Vadim's punches. Vadim has a small cut over his left eye. He's not bleeding at this point, but another punch may open that one up. They have been butting heads, and they are wrestling again. A lot of wrestling in this fight. A 
nice knee by Vadim to end the fight. Alexander did not show up in the second and third round. Vadim did show up in the second and third round, even though he didn't show up in the first round. And uh, if we go to the fourth, it wouldn't surprise me, but I'm gonna have to say that in the end, Vadim took that fight on points. It's my personal opinion. Performed a lot better in the second and third. Alexander, you're not gonna win if you don't throw punches. It started out as a very promising fight, but it turned out the fight wasn't as exciting in the final two rounds. Not that Vadim didn't try. I really don't know what happened. Although Alexander looks absolutely exhausted. I'm gonna say fourth round. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say? You think we're gonna go to a fourth tie-breaking round? If only I could see the judges score for you. But like you, I must wait. Although I do sit next to one. Для награждения победителя в ринг приглашается представитель юридического бюро Терцум Андрей Рамов. So we have a decision. Судейская бригада во главе с главным судьей Вадимом Клещевым единогласным решением вынесла победу бойцу Красного Угла. Вадим Давидов выигрывает. Я думал, что он выиграл. Он действительно выполнил гораздо лучше в первых двух раундах, и я ему дал бой тоже. Но, опять же, это не было бы удивительно, если бы он пошел во второй раунд. As the last two rounds were more of a, a tie-up, Vadim threw more punches. He landed more punches, landed more kicks than Alexander, and therefore he takes it. Congratulations to Vadim. A good fight for two young and up-and-coming stars here in Russia and W5. While we have a chance, we're going to now talk to about our sponsors. We'd like to thank Vorgo Water, Fox Beer, Group of Company Mitts, Echo Sanyaj, Green Hill Box and Equipment is Supplied. All of the equipment for tonight's fight. Promotion company, shoulder to shoulder. And W5, choose the way of the champion, where you can uh, catch them on Apple TV, iOS, and Android devices, as well as www.w5kick.com. Their next tournament, you might as well uh, announce it now, is going to be May 21st, 2016, in Vienna, Austria. I'll be there at the Hallman Center, which is the former Buddha Center. It's W5 time is their slogan, never give up. And I'll be looking forward to that fight on May 21st. 